Microsoft has announced Jarvis, a system that connects LLMs, otherwise known as learning language models, with the machine learning community. In short, this is going to revolutionize AI. And as of currently right now, think of it as a visual style ChatGPT. Now, if you ever followed Iron Man, then you must be familiar with Jarvis. And as of today, it's currently not at that level like we see in the movies. However, in the future, we could get very, very close to that Jarvis-like capability where you simply ask it to do a task and it does it just like you've seen Stark, Tony Stark doing it in Iron Man. So now let's take a look at the behind the scene details. What's so special about Jarvis? Well, here I am on their actual GitHub. So if you do have any program experience, then this is fairly easy to follow along. However, if you've never coded, I'll just go ahead and showcase you the rough draft of how this goes about. So basically this is the code base and this is on the main branch and all this fun stuff. I'm not gonna really go into the code. However, I'm going to deep dive into what exactly this thing does. Now, here is a visual example showcasing a example of what it can do. So here we have this prompt and it asks it to generate an image where a girl is reading a book and her pose is the same as the boy in the image, which is you see here on the left side of the screen. And they say, please describe the new image with your voice. So it breaks it down into four different stages. The first one is the task planning. It starts off with the pose and then it can take a look at the pose to the image, AKA text, a reading girl and then it goes to the image class and then it goes to the object detention and then it goes to image to text and then finally text to speech and that's for stage one stage two now it will actually go through hugging face and on hugging face if you've never seen the website there's a bunch of different models and it'll go ahead and detect the one that it makes sense for that assignment and then for stage three tax execution and now you can see here, it actually goes in and tries to put it together. And then on stage four, we get the response generation. And now we can see this little response down here. And basically it says the image you gave me is of a boy. And the first thing I did was use, they say here, the open CV open pose control model, which again is from the hugging face model that it choose. And then it analyzes that pose of the boy in the image. And then it goes ahead and feeds that to the location that it needs to, to get the output of the pose, which you can see here in the image two, it showcases the little like a highlight, some like a stick figure glow type look. And that is essentially the pose it has for that. And then it's going to go ahead and take that pose and generate the new image, which they have in image three. And then simply you have for image four, and then it showcases the box round. And basically this is just a short response showcasing a girl sitting on a bed reading a book and you have that from the original image of the boy that was for reference now this is very basic simple explanation but now let's go ahead and deep dive into more complicated things that Jarvis can do so here is the research paper and again this stuff is very complicated and complex to see however like we have with current technology, ChatGPT, for example, it can go ahead and summarize this for us instantly. So I actually went ahead and did that for you so you can see a visual of the potential of this AI. So here, went ahead and pasted the GitHub code. And if you guys did not know, Jarvis was actually short for just a rather very intelligent system. So Iron Man, they already knew the acronym back in then. And now you can see Microsoft and there's other companies that have the same name as well. And basically, in short, it looks like it's developing and deploying the AI so we can have powered virtual assistants, cable providing natural language processing, task automation, and then other things. So basically, from this summarize of Jarvis, I asked it to give an example of things that it can do. So now as of today, these aren't actual confirmations of what Jarvis can do with Microsoft's uh, version at least. However, if this is going to be the future, the next few months, years, whatever it takes, this could potentially be some of the examples that it ends up doing, which could go into a further discussion regarding AGI, human-like abilities. And this is just, again, this is from ChatGPT4. So again, the information not, will not be 100% accurate, but this is just to give you a preview 
of what we could potentially expect. So here, for example, an example is that it could be a virtual assistant for your smart home. So you could simply say things as adjust the room temperature, control the lightings, manage the security, energy consumption, automate anything, you know, whatever. And I mean, if you already have some smart homes, this is some stuff that you can kind of already do. You know, if you have a simple air conditioner with a little timer, you could set a timer. If you ever use a robot vacuum, for example, in your home, you could have a time where it goes every single time at let's say 7 a.m. cleans the house. So in short, it kind of already has the abilities in some people's houses already. It's just not really in the AI sense like you see in the Iron Man movies. However, this is just to give you a visual of the potential of some stuff that this AI could potentially do. And then another example is talking more about in terms of businesses. So you could automate a hospital, for example. Now this stuff is more complex and I'm sure there's other AI software already out there that are working on something very similar or even already have completed stuff like this. And then I even asked it for business and making money. Think of this as analyzing data, future projections, etc. So again, these are hypothetical scenarios that AI could potentially get to. However, let's focus now on what's actually being showcased in the research paper. So here is their research paper. And at the bottom, they actually talk about, they don't call this AGI for humans. However, they do say advanced artificial intelligence. So, I mean, we would just have to wait and see, but now let's go ahead and look at some examples. So here we can see again, another visual style. So it seems like right now Jarvis is heavily focused on this image detection and giving models that can give a result based off of what we're asking. So here it says, can you describe what this picture depicts and count how many objects are in the picture? So it showcases basically, we see animals, so they got a giraffe, looks like zebras, and uh, I'm not even sure what the other animals in there, but essentially it says here, there are five detected objects as a giraffe with a score of 99.9%, zebra 99.7, and then another zebra, giraffe, and you basically can see that it's visually able to identify what is being in here. And it can also count that, which you can see there, oh, the entire model and how it goes through again with a task planning, model selection, and response generation, and then task execution, which again, it uses from Hugging Face, the different open source models that they can go ahead and choose from to solve your current asking prompt, which they have here. And then here is another example. So here it says, based on the pose image of example one and description of example two, please generate a new one. So here is interesting because it actually asks for a description plus an actual pose. And then you can see the results. We have it taking the pose of the basketball player. And then it showcases a boy on a bike. And basically it's putting together the hand up it looks like from the basketball image and it has the boy which is riding it looks like in the first picture a scooter but now generates into a bicycle but it has the combination of using two images together simply from the visual aspect of it which is quite kind of crazy actually to see and that is currently what the Jarvis capabilities are working on right now. And then here's another example. Generate a video with the title, an astronaut is walking in space and dub it. And then we can see it actually has the visuals of the astronaut right there. And then we can actually showcase the details that it goes ahead and finishes it. And it has this audio file, which I don't think I can play at this point, but this is stuff that is currently in the works right now that I think is quite insane to see. And then here we have another visual example. With a given collection of images, we have A.jpg, so one image, we got the B and we got the C. So basically cat, zebras with three and then one zebra. And then it says how many zebras are in these pictures? And it goes in and describes that there are four zebras. So we can visually see what a zebra is and it knows that there's two separate images with three and then one and it puts it together, makes it four and then eliminates the cat because it doesn't fit the actual zebra. So visually, this is crazy already. This is just the starts. And again, ChatGPT4 kind of talked about like Iron Man style stuff, but this is just the beginning. And eventually once they upgrade this to more complex things, next thing you know it, we could potentially see some crazy stuff happen. And here is some more examples of what it can do. So for example, here we have this pizza and it says, what is the red topping? And then basically it's going to say that it's a tomato. 
if I was an AI, I'm surprised and I was starting off, I would have probably said pepperoni. You know, it's hard to tell a difference. But the fact that it can see the little details, that's crazy already there. And then also it can showcase in these other examples, for example, this one's asking to tech objects in this picture with like the guitar and then a little tiny things in there. And basically just a general overview. Look at this. This one, please estimate the depth of this. So that's like a room and it's basically going to showcase what is chosen here. And it says in terms of depth, which in terms of depth, that's like a, a something that's hard to understand, but it looks like the answer is showcasing and it shows this actual response image right there. And then basically there's another one talking about the width angle of the casual view from the blue background. And it seems like I can't see the exact data number from there. And it seems like it showcases the result images, which I am not able to click on. But just in general, you can see some of the abilities of Jarvis, which are going to be incredible. And then here, even if it's reading financials, not just images, it can give you the amounts in terms of numbers. So that's for reading data. This can translate to finances, forecasting, etc. That's going to be incredible. Also, we got Spider-Man. Please generate a video on Spider-Man is surfing. So this seems similar to a video AI type generation tool, but just the possibilities of Jarvis right now, it's starting to look crazy. And then here we even have additional more examples. Please generate a cameo image based on the example JPEG. So we got the zoo picture from earlier and then we showcase the results. And then we can see here, look at that result right there. So again, the use cases for this is going to be crazy. This is just a start, but do share your thoughts on Microsoft Jarvis and the potential of AI. And if you want to see the latest, greatest updates on AI, tech, news, products, be sure to like and subscribe. And thank you for watching.